All right, we're back. We got six man tag team action coming up. And Kevin, three hot ones in the ring. That's right, the trio Bradley, Ray Steele, and Charlie Haas compromised three of the most talented youngsters in either WWF developmental camp, and they will have their problems. They're going to have their hands full with three very former, tough former WCW stars. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is a six man tag team event. Introducing first, Haley from Albuquerque, New Mexico, Ray Steele. From the combat zone in downtown Boston, Massachusetts, who's your daddy, Steve Bradley? And from Edmond, Oklahoma, Charlie Haas. And their opponents. And their opponents. They're coming to the ring. These three, you mentioned, former WCW fainters, Johnny the Bull, Lice LaRue, and Reno, all with strong athletic backgrounds. However, the red ring style is more suited for backstreet brawling. Let's go for the introduction. Coming to the ring, hailing from Brooklyn, New York, Johnny the Bull. And from Las Vegas, Nevada, Reno. And from the LaRue Bayou and Lafayette, Louisiana, the Big Mac Raw Daddy, Les LaRue. All right, we're ready to roll. Six man tag team action. Let's it looks like Ray Steele out to start for his trio and Johnny the Bull. And Johnny with new attire, new wrestling truck, showing off those wheels. And he's been to the gym with them too, Kev. That guy's in great shape. Yeah, and it looks like his uh, thumb is finally healed and a good thing for everybody involved that that cast is finally off. Yes, that was an extra additional weapon that Bull yeah. uh, found to utilize. On uh, you know, database. I wonder if that thumb was ever broken at all. Good question. Good question. We mentioned uh, three uh, bright up-and-comers in Bradley, Ray Steele, and Charlie Haas. The three in the other corner are, are bright stars in this industry yeah, as well, Kevin. They certainly are, and I'm glad to see that they can get opportunity to continue to further their careers, but for somebody like Reno to just go out before and slug Patrick Black, I mean, really, there's no call for it. No, none at all. I mean, it's not necessary if, if he's trying to show how tough he was. After all, he's pounding on a non-athletic guy who's the commissioner. It's not like he's another wrestler. Yeah, I mean, probably the most non-athletic guy I've ever seen on the <laughs> HWA TV show. There you go. No slight to Mrs. Black at home. <laughs> Bradley misses the elbow, Lance loops the right hands in. What is he, the stooge from Baton Rouge this week? What is he, something else every week with Lash? He entertains me this last little The Ayatollah Shrimp Creole. Oh, please. <laughs> Bradley gets a two count. Grabs the arm, windmills it, makes the tag. You know, I learned a lot about Lash LaRue and seeing that hanging with Jake, but that was great. His artistic talent, second to none. And right now, Charlie Haas and Steve Bradley and Ray Steele combining to show Lash a, another need for another talent. It's like Reno made the blind tag. Reverse the whip, Charlie Haas set up. Oh, as Reno goes to roll the dice, Haas hooks him. Reno kicks out. Always back to the amateur fundamentals for Charlie Haas. That will never leave Charlie. That's the reason why Kurt Angle is so successful, is because when the chips are down, Les, you know, you can always go back to the fundamentals and basics to, to extricate yourself out of problems. Absolutely, Kevin. Of course, Reno, that uh, underground shoot fighter. Oh, look out. Wait a minute now. And right now, the referee's got all he can handle as Bull and Lash double up in the corner. Bull and Reno now on the double arm whip. Basket Take him catch. up. Climb him on the base of his spine into that canvas. Two count as Charlie Haas kicks out. You know, we were all concerned that when Russ uh, was laid up, that, you know, how frustrating would that be for Charlie? But he's fit right in with other tag team partners that go show what a versatile performer he is, Kevin. Yeah, he certainly is. It's been a real coming of age, a growing period, I know, for Charlie. He's gonna learn, he's learning a valuable lesson here. Don't get yourself caught. And now make a tag. Come on, Charlie. Charlie spared him, but he does it look like he can pull it together. He needs to make that tag. He needs to either get the Bradley or steal. Right now, LaRue's trying to make the tag himself, hanging on for dear life, makes the tag to Johnny the Bull, and Lash, yes. Great ring presence by Lash LaRue. That's it, they're trying to cut the ring off on Charlie Haas. Bull needs to pull him back three or four feet, and is he gonna give Charlie a chance? Charlie should have dove to the corner instead. Blocks, Bull takes nice. him over in a belly to belly. Now he needs to make the tag, the time is now. Absolutely, he needs to find his way to that corner. 
His team needs a fresh man right now to shut down Johnny the Bull. Let's see, they're both going. Bull makes the tag. In comes La Reno in. Bradley opens up first Reno, then LaRue drops Johnny the Bull. The bad boy from Boston on the move. Fine buster, but the save is made by Lash LaRue. Ray Steele moves in, pitches LaRue to the outside. Race, oh! Man, oh man. We've got almost a six-man battle royal now as all six guys are going someplace. Got it! There it is. And Reno stops Race, excuse me, Steve Bradley with the roll of the dice. What a devastating move. Just that quickly. Reno may be $2,000 lighter, but he scores a victory for his team. He certainly did, and they come up your winners, and we'll be back to talk to Matt Stryker right after these commercial messages.